Obviously, That's right. uh, this is a really big issue for the freedom minded, and that is limiting the size of government. And that starts with how much money the government is taking, not from wealthy people, but low and middle income earners. So if something like this, a bill to abolish the IRS, passes in the House, is it just one of those look busy bills because the Senate will never even take it up? Well, that could be the case. Um, I really do want to feature the fact, though, that the first bill that we passed in the 118th Congress was defunding uh, 87,000 IRS agents. And why that's so important to explain to the everyday person is that that was billed completely wrong, as it normally is from the Biden administration. They said that that is to make sure that billionaires pay their fair share of taxes. Elon Musk does not have an Etsy store. And Jeff Bezos does not sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace. You do, and I do, and our neighbors do. So in order to have the level of fidelity that they wanted to track every single American citizen's uh, digital transactions to the level of $600 annually, mm -hmm. that the type of massive uh, surveillance that the government would have to do is unacceptable. And that's why we did that. Bill number one. Guys, you might not have to pay federal taxes so Well, the Republicans are trying to abolish the IRS and federal taxes. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how that might be and what is the full breakdown of this bill. Guys, stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome to the channel. I'm Credit Coach Q, and I created the first cloud-based software that allows you to put your credit repair spins into your own hands. If you're new to the channel, I'm super, super excited because I have a banger. Today's video, we're going to talk about the IRS. Before we get into the video, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. It allows YouTube to push us within an algorithm, and it also allows YouTube to push us to a wider audience and allows us to leave these lights on. Guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you have anything derogatory in your credit report, I mean, anything negative charge-offs late payments bankruptcies medical bills guys you name it please go over to mycreditapproved.com it's the website and the software that I was telling up telling you about that allows you to put the full experience to your own hands guys people are removing thousands of dollars worth of debt by themselves they are no longer using credit repair companies they are putting this information in this experience into their own hands and appreciating on a deeper level guys please go to mycreditapproved.com check out the software and start removing these items guys if you have anything derogatory on your credit report now let's dive straight into the meat and potatoes of this video let's talk about this because this is a very interesting bill this bill has been put in place by the republicans by a guy named buddy buddy put the bill in place to combat the inflation reduction act which was a bill that was put in place last year that was basically uh able to give the irs more funding upwards to 80 billion dollars now during the 80 billion dollars the irs was supposed to hire up to 86 thousand different irs agents to basically combat taxes that's not being filed correctly or done at all so that was the inflation act that was put in place last year and the republicans especially buddy did not have a particular happy was in a particular happy place in regards to that bill because it really targets um small businesses now a lot of individuals think that the bill was supposed to target billionaires that's what the that was the reason why they said they put the bill in place initially to target billionaires but billionaires are not selling things like a small business Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos I don't think they have a problem with paying taxes or hiding their taxes from the law they have too much capital too much reserves to deal with anything like that so this bill is majority in focus on the small businesses and when you think about it there's not 86 thousand billionaires in the world right now so how can this bill be put in place for billionaires if we're hiring 86 thousand agents specifically for a purpose that billionaires are not even uh, equated to. So that's interesting all its own. But yes, this bill was put in place to go away with the IRS and also federal taxes. So let me break it down to you. I did 
my own homework and I'm, I have all of the resources in the step by step on how they're plan on planning this out. So the bill was basically to get away from any type of federal taxes and to replace it with something called consumption tax. Now consumption tax is taxes that's done from consumers that basically consume things. So for instance, if you are buying something on the internet, Apple headphones, if you're buying groceries, if you're buying clothing, all of those items are usually taxed at around seven to a 10% rate at the store. But when, if you wanna equate in at this consumption tax and replace it with the federal income tax, you will basically see a inflated uh, price of goods and services that basically that will combat or have an equivalent standpoint as a federal taxes. Now, federal taxes is something that we have to do on our own the end of the year and it can be a headache this is supposed to be a um comparison to it while eliminating the irs now putting eighty six thousand irs agents out of work is not something the government is looking to do or particularly fond of but the representatives of the republicans is trying to make this happen now to get rid of the income tax for corporate taxes it will not also get rid of income taxes federal income taxes for personal consumers but also businesses and i thought that that was really interesting because it is tackling a lot of corporations not only going in a direction with filing the taxes properly but it also I'm going to eliminate a lot of issues when it comes to federal taxes filing. A lot of small businesses, a lot of corporations deal with these issues all the time, and this would alleviate it altogether. Now, the corporate taxes will also go away with the death tax, gift tax, and payroll tax. Guys, that is very interesting to say the least by itself to go away from all of those taxes just to re replace it with a large consumption tax. Now, the consumption tax tax is around zero to 30 percent it really just depends on how much you spend in a given month and also your income so the consumption tax that you would be taxed opposed to the federal tax can range between zero to 30 percent and it ranges uh, from your income and how much you're actually spending now i honestly think that this can weigh in on the psychology of consumption spending altogether i feel like if people are getting taxed at the register opposed to getting taxed at the end of the year i think that it will change a lot of behavioral habits in the consumption spending world i think that a lot of people would think twice before buying things at a 30 percent tax uh hike so yeah i think that this is very interesting to sort of um to say the least will it bring the economy back to where we feel like we need to be or would it help the economy that's really up in the air uh, would it change it 100 this will change the trajectory and the psychology of all consumer spending countrywide because if you are getting charged at a zero to a 30 percent rate that can be catastrophic to your whole lifestyle in general so you also uh, will receive a 250 to 500 dollar rebate and that is to be equivalent to the standard deductions that a uh, normal household see so yes you have a 250 to 500 dollar de uh, deduction and i honestly think that this is going to be interesting now the white house and congress have already denied this bill so we are seeing and going forward how this plays out but i think that, like i said to say the least is very interesting guys leave a comment in the comment section to let me know how you feel about this do you think the irs need to be abolished altogether do you think that this will uh cause more problems than good let me know in the comment section how you feel about this all together and because i think it's very interesting i think that is something going against the grain and the irs has been a headache more than a helpmate in years past so guys let me know in the comments how you feel about this until next time take care of your credit and take care of yourself credit coach Q out.